power. B B King, get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown. All right, kings and queens, y'all like this video right here on King Ja Power. Go over there to the throne, like all them videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on both channels. Make sure you hit the notification buttons on both channels so you can get the videos as they come. See, cause King ain't going nowhere, all right? So, make sure you do that. So, family, today, you know, again, we gonna jump back on the FBA coons, okay? We gonna jump back on they forehead right quick. Now, I got a video with our good brother, Malik Zulu Shabazz. I got to meet him one time at Atlanta in my Uncle Supreme shop. So, shout out to Malik Zulu Shabazz. So, you know, you could tell who these FBAs on how they think on by who they support. In other words, you know, what they think, they think alike. See, they think alike, like Clarence Thomas. Now, I just done a video with FBA and Tariq Nasheed and all them is saying black immigrants is uh, miseducating uh, FBA children, okay? And they support Clarence Thomas. Go over there. I busted them and go over there and watch, go behind me and watch this video immediately, okay? Don't make me play them again because I will. But you could tell by how they think, by who they support. Now, I'm going to play the video in a minute, so like the video. But let me drop something right quick. Now, Clarence Thomas is your quintessential Uncle Tom. Okay, just your, he your quintessential Uncle Tom. Hate everything black. Love everything white. Uh, white bread. Sweet Jesus. And American pie. Okay, that's what they is and what white people do. Khalid Muhammad taught us, he, he said that they gonna get up there and put a black man out there, you know, to speak white supremacy. Okay? Don't make me say what Khalid said. <laughs> they might not play this video. But, that's what he was saying. And so, this who Clarence Thomas is and see LBA support him because this is how they what they do, they think like him. Another, some more Uncle Tom Negroes, okay? Some more Uncle Tom Negroes laying at the feet of they massa, okay? That's just what this is. Protectionism for boss, okay? And so, whenever they put a black man in there, and Clarence Thomas is FBA. Clarence Thomas is FBA. And so they support him. But when a black immigrant get up there and starts spitting white supremacy like that one black immigrant got up there and said, America is not racist. <laughs> America is not racist. Man, that's laughable at best. Okay? <laughs> America, man, that, they call him all kind of names. And he was from, I don't know, he was Barbados or something. He was from one of them islands. Okay, I don't want to really call no island because I don't want to be wrong. But he was from one of them islands and he was saying America is not racist. And they, oh man, see, he ain't FBA, he ain't FBA. With this man FBA and saying the same thing that that black immigrant said, basically, that America is not racist. See, what they do is they put up blackface and white supremacy. See, that sound familiar. That's FBA. See, that's what they is. See? And I'm going to let Brother uh, Malik drop it for you in a minute. But King got the jewels. So, what am I saying? These Negroes, if you ask them this, ask them this. What's your spiritual system? If we ask uh, Uncle Clarence... <laughs> What's his spiritual system? What you think he gonna say? White Jesus. And see, that came up in the other, the other video. Okay, so the FBA worship white Jesus just like any other Christian. See, FBA are simplistic. 
See, they want to keep everything the same. See, when you change, take action. Okay? Black power, okay, take action. These are some on the couch Negroes, okay? Looking at movies and playing video games all day and then get up here and try to speak policy for black people, okay? Don't know a damn thing, okay? Show me your degree. Oh, man, that's the white man degree. But don't you believe in his system? Don't you believe it in progress in America? Well, if you believe that, you believe in the white man's system. See, you can't have it both ways. You can't serve two masters. Either you're going to serve the black God or you're going to serve Mr. Uh, Caesar Bordeaux. Okay? <laughs> see? And serving yourself, you can't see God in you. So you can't see, you know, you believe in the white man saying, the black man can never make laws that the white man ever respect. See, this is what Clarence Thomas believed. He'll say, I don't want to hear no black history. Black folks ain't got no history. Our history started with slavery. See, this is the way they think. See, they can't see beyond the paradigm of America. Okay, they can't see past that. That's their whole illusion. And niggas will say, Man, we need to think outside the box. Well, the box is America. You can't be in the box and try to think outside the box. Let me say that again. You can't be in the box and try to think outside of the box. You got to get out of the box so you can see you in a box. Because y'all don't even know that you in a box. You feel like the whole world is America. See, this this is what he think. Clarence Thomas, you know, I ain't we ain't got accent. You can see it in his face. <laughs> he, he looked like Bernie uh Mac when they uh when Cuba Good and them got pulled over and men into society. <laughs> I hate your I hate my black skin. I hate y'all niggas. <laughs> Bernie Mac is stupid cause <laughs> And so that's the same type of nigga The quintessential Raccoon Okay The quintessential raccoon See so they motherfuckers try to get my garbage can right now <laughs> And find some FBA flags or something Some that nigga Stop it See so We been having people This is The European again Playing charades, putting black people up there, speaking white supremacy. And FBA support him. Okay? They support him. Why? Because they think the same way he do. Oh, man, he FBA, he from Georgia. But he up here spitting white supremacy. And y'all say y'all trying to destroy white supremacy. See, these niggas is confused. So the LBA philosophy is the same philosophy as Uncle Clarence. <laughs> Looking like the daddy off the boondocks and shit, nigga. They always talk about Christmas and shit. He ain't want to hear that shit. Don't you be talking to that nigga about black stuff in this house. <laughs> Pops and shit. <laughs> And that's what that's the that's the quintessential see on the plantation and shit. Chicken George had a white daddy, and he thought that he, you know, once he found that out that the white man was his daddy, he thought the white man, you know, would love him more or accept him, okay. And he found out he didn't. But see, you always had, and he, most of the time, they would make the women play this part too. But now, they done modified it. It got the black man to fall in line. And the black man was saying, well, I ain't believing in no white Jesus eating that pork. That's what we were saying. But then they got, they would have a black woman, you see, get out here and say all of this same thing that, Clarence Thomas is saying. And so now they done modified. They got the, you know, black man. It was always a black man out there. Fiddler. Oh, Fiddler. Okay, Fiddler. Okay. Now look at you, African. Look at you, look, 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 Guinea man. Okay. 
You got to listen to this white man. Y'all can't be speaking that Guinness stuff around this white man. Y'all got to learn Americans language. You got to learn how to shuck the corn and pick the cotton. And so he just another fiddler. Or uh Mr. Candy or uh, Samuel L. Jackson. That's all that this is. Okay? And so LBA, that's all they doing. Hugging Mr. Candy. Hugging Mr. Candy. <laughs> Knock them niggas off that nag. What that nigga doing on that nag? He sleep in the bed, we gonna have to burn all the sheets. See? That's these goofies mentality. Now let me play Brother Malik right quick, cause I keep going in on. Like this video, I'll be right back. We have a serious, serious problem with our uncle. Uncle Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. This is a family problem and he's a serious embarrassment to our race. Justice Thomas is anti-prisoner rights, anti-civil rights. Justice Thomas is anti the victims of police brutality. Thomas is anti-environment. Thomas, the Supreme Court Justice, is actually seriously anti-black. And Clarence Thomas is one of the worst Supreme Court Justices in U.S. history. Of all that, Uncle Clarence is anti-black woman. And he's married to that, what Khalid Muhammad called, that big dinosaur-looking white woman. Got out her bed and called the White House to help Donald Trump on January 6th overturn the elections. Clarence Thomas. See? See? Now, same thing. The leader of LBA, what he got? A white woman. See? He can, so he gonna do, you know, protectionism. You see? For the dominant society. See? And, and then all the people that think like him gonna support it. And so that's Clarence Thomas, that's Tariq Nashi, that got down uh, Tommy Sotomayor, okay? And then the ugly nigga, uh, I don't forgot his name. He a black ass nigga look like Kunta Kinte and shit. And this man out here wearing an American hat and shit. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know his name. He got glasses and he dark skin wearing an American hat and American flags and shit everywhere. Him. And so they support these type of people. Democrats and demo, demon crats and shit. See, they support that. Republicans. See? But Donald Trump, see, tried to throw black people a bone and just because they got their racist shit in their mind, you know, ah, oh, man, we, we can't take it from him. And they the devil. But, but they, they the same people. They working toward the same objective. Democrats and Republicans is to keep white people on top. And then they put this homogenized, uh, uh, sanctified Negro up here. You see, they worship the white man, dating the white woman, so he going to push everything white. He don't believe in nothing black. Okay, what I'm saying? To him, when he look in the mirror, he see... Christopher Reeves <laughs> and George Washington and Benjamin Franklin and Mozart and shit. He don't see. He can't hear Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Henry. He can't hear Jimmy. <laughs> like uh a white man can't jump. He you can't hear Jimmy. They can't. Okay, but these Uncle Tom, FBA, okay. I support this man. Why? Because they think just like him. They slayed up with this cave woman. <laughs> with Betty and Wilma. And, 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 you know. And they laid up in the cave. The shit all dark and shit. And he out there done told all the black secrets that he know. To this cave beast or whatever. And she don't know what to do with that shit when y'all pillow talking. And so. My thing is. Black people. We see. 
how FBA is. We see how they think. We see who they support. Okay? They're going to support all the culinary and buffoonery because they want to cheerlead, okay, and be the mascots of America. Okay? That's what these niggas is. Red, white, and blue. Watch them all. Now, <laughs> hey, tomorrow the 4th of July would lie, right? <laughs> Now, black people supposed to be having a, um, a ban on the 4th of July. Well, you know, we got Juneteenth now, so we not going to celebrate their goddamn freedom. We got our own freedom day. Now, watch these niggas tomorrow. Now, on Juneteenth and shit, <laughs> these niggas with dashiki out and red, gold, and green and goddamn curry shells and shit. Now, watch these same niggas. Flip floppy ass niggas gonna come out here tomorrow with all their red, white, blue and shit on, man. Where the cook out at and shit, niggas got pork grease and barbecue sauce all on their face and shit. Gonna be out here waving that little American flag and shit, shooting off fireworks. Don't know the fireworks mean dropping bombs on other nations, killing people. And then that's why they took the national anthem out the school because how can the people. That they drop bombs on. We got Chinese people over here. We got Japanese people over here. We got Arab people over here in America. So what they look like sitting up there. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how the shit goes. See. Uh, something about the bombs falling in the national anthem. That's just all I know. But. The symbolism is tomorrow. When y'all lighting them fireworks. Remember. That, that means dropping bombs on nations. So how could these people that they drop bombs on got children in these schools be sitting up here talking about drop bombs for American liberty and freedom or whatever. They'll be talking about their own people. So you couldn't use that in the school and that's also why they took the Bible out too because that's white supremacy too. Okay? I bet you if you did a poll of the uh, FBA or whatever how many of them Worship white Jesus and be for real. I guarantee you it's about 85, 90%. It's high, nigga. And, and until they change that concept in their mind, when he was beating Kunta on the damn, uh, he got him hanging up on the, the, the chalice or whatever that shit is. And he whooping his back. He's saying, I'm God. But Kunta, in his mind, like, no, the hell you ain't. We got uh, thousands of guys in Africa. What are you, who the hell is you? David Livingstone went over there trying to, uh, and I'm going to get on that in a little bit, too, trying to convince, you know, Shaka Zulu and them to, to believe in white Jesus and shit. And, and Shaka told his ass, say, listen, That's not my God. That's your God. That God look like you. The China man got Buddha. See? You got Christ and Jesus. Okay? The Arabs got Abraham. Okay? And Shaka said, he said to Shaka, say, well, what's your God? Where your God? Shaka told him, look at the people. Look at the people. What Shaka was telling him, say, like in the Bible, the kingdom of God lie within. It ain't nothing outside. And so these people, LBA, Clarence Thomas, all of them ain't nothing but some Christians. Okay? Ain't nothing but some Christians. They gonna go to church every Sunday, eat some pig feet and bow down and drink some blood, call communion in church, and they gonna come back and look at everybody else that didn't go like they evil. And when they been in that motherfucker drinking blood and hitting on women and shit. The pastor be going back there in the back with his little phallus or whatever. And drink out his little and, and drinking and shit and going back on. That's why he be sweating. They be having that little drinking thing. In America they call it a little phallus or some shit like that. Where they can just pop out and have a little drink right quick. He be doing that shit. And he'll go back there and. Thank for a minute and get a couple numbers or whatever. <laughs> Go back there and put them in their phone and shit. 
all while the rest of the choir out there singing. See? 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 And that's what it boiled down to. Because until you get that white bread, white Jesus, uh, angel food, cakes, and all of that out your mind, okay, the angels is white. Okay, like my uh, uh, Muhammad Ali was saying, the angels is white. See? Oh, yeah, oh, and all the goddamn, ain't no black angels. Devil, devil food, cake, black. See, this is how they think. They done been taught against their own people. And them is the white man who he's going to select to put in front of black people and say, this your leader, this who you should follow. The FBA roll right on along with that. Okay? And so, Uncle Clarence, okay, it's just a, it's a thousand Uncle Clarences out here. It's a whole bunch of little clone Uncle Clarences called FBAs, okay? And so, family out there, don't get caught up in this American trap. It's time to go home. See, it's time for nationalism. It's time for real freedom. It's time to build our own. It's time to hold the responsibility of you and the future of your children in your hands, okay? And not relinquish them to this system and say, okay, man, if we can't beat them, we going to join them. All right, family, I'm going to see you all in a minute. Don't go get caught up in these whirlwind alive that these peoples is out here pushing to try to push you closer to the fireplace of this beast. You see what I'm saying? So he can crunch you up and eat you up and spit you out again. See what I'm saying? The way they going, they going to be this, you going to go back a hundred years, we was already trying to do the same thing that they already trying to do. Okay? And so you're going to be able to go up 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 years from now. These niggas going to be over here still doing the same shit. They caught. It's like a record. You know when they skip and just keep playing the same thing over and over and over again. That's like the experience of the African American. He keep doing the same thing over. Well, this is what my grandma did. My grandma worshipped Jesus. My grandma went out there and marched. My grandma was a part of the civil rights. My granddaddy joined the uh, civil war. See, they proud of all them accomplishments. Though they not really accomplishments that pushed us forward. Believe in yourself, family. Don't believe in this system. It's time to move on. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. You better get your passport. Jump power. Beep, beep, king. Get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown.